the food war argument today is, what is a food that you just find highly overrated? It's just food wars. Yeah, overrated food. What's on your list? Three seven five three zero on text or on the phones at seven one three. 390-KRBE. Eric started off with filet mignon steak. And I like it. Steak. And I do get it because it is lean, but I'm just like, ribeye is so much better. Or New York Strip or something. Because you got a little fat in there. Get some flavor. I'll put it out there, And it's too. so expensive for what they for what it is. That's the whole thing. It's it's like when they hype something up, like the fancy, uh, what is the fancy crab meat? Alaskan king crab. Alaskan king crab. So, Haven't you ever seen Deadliest Cats? That's why it's so expensive. Yeah, Dungeness but, but crab. I've, I've, I've seen it like on the plate out of its like little claw. And it's like about the amount of meat that's a chicken nugget. I feel like and it, it's you burn like calories, $100. Ryan. You burn calories trying to open it. Yeah, but I mean, it's it, like, is it like, really a worth $100 yeah. for two bites? Two bites full of food. Like I said, when you see them catch it, you know why it's so dang expensive. Yeah. And actually, I feel like Alaskan king crab legs are pretty meaty legs. Yeah. You're, if you're talking about snow crab, maybe that That's one. What or it even was. Texas blue crab is a lot of work for a little meat. But Alaskan king crab legs, that is chunky they're meat. They're super up in long. There. They're like a foot long. Yes, they're huge. All right, let's start it off with Brandy on the line at 713 390 KRBE. Hi, Brandy. Morning, y'all. Good morning. morning. What's the underrated food in overrated. your book? I mean, overrated. overrated food in your book. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> underrated, underrated, overrated. Two different things. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what's overrated? What do you think is just too hyped up? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get in so much trouble for this. Crawfish, oh. especially crawfish boiled. I, I agree. Oh, yeah. How dare you? Agree. I'm going to say I, I'm on your team. I'm on your team. No Bugs, way. basically. Yeah, I'm on your team. It's a lot of work. Like we just said a lot of work, yes. Sam. It's worth it. It's a lot of work for a little bit of crawfish. Yeah. Sometimes, depending on who the person is, they might have over seasoned it. So. But isn't it all about over the season? Seasoning. It's just it's all about yeah. the season. Who are you, Brandy? Or that yellow goo that comes out of it? <laughs> okay, well, that's, yeah, that's Brandy, the, I'm more about a <laughs> Brandy. Eric. Brandy, I'm more about a crawfish boil for the social aspect of having fun yeah, with yes. your friends. And I would probably get full off of the new potatoes and the corn versus actually doing the work on the crawfish. <laughs> but you got all that's that. What I eat. Pretty much do. Yeah, all yeah. that yellow poop on it. That's and what I'm saying, the yellow stuff. stuff. And people Stop like it. to. Oh, I, I, I play, so good. Uh, don't I shoot me, but I'd rather do a shrimp boil. Definitely. I'm with you on that. You could yeah, do yeah, a shrimp boil flavor, and get more meat. Might as well do a shrimp. Yeah. But also, just seeing them alive. And then a few seconds <laughs> later, they're, they're dead right in front of you. Well, that's that just like a lobster. I just look away. But you want them to be. That's in the kitchen. Yeah, you don't see anymore. It's not like- yeah, but you want them to be alive when they get boiled. I've seen crawfish so that died in the pack, and then they got boiled. You throw those away. You yes, can't eat those. Yes, don't eat those. You'll get Isn't there a way to euthanize It's like them? dust inside. Uh, no, a lot of people are the saying, natural way we eat. You're things. getting yeah. a lot of people agreeing with you, Brandy. Yeah. A lot of people are texting. It's a lot of work for little Amen. payoff. Crawfish, not yeah, worth it. Brandy, Team that's, Brandy wins that that's one. That's funny because it's so I'm big here her. in Houston. But you could broil. Yeah. With that seasoning, yeah. you could broil almost anything and make it taste good. Boil. Boil. Because a boiled so, crawfish. Well, Broil yeah. is when you put it under yeah. the broil. Yeah, I know. I meant boil. Yeah. Ryan doesn't well, know. Broil some no, oysters. He's... What do you call that? Oysters ther- thermidor or something? Thermidor. Ro- that's different. That's got the that wine cheese likes. sauce. <sighs> you, the Rockefellers has the shrimp, and grilled. then there's roasted oysters. Oh, yeah, roasted. Grilled, grilled oysters. oysters with that Parmesan yeah. sauce on it. Oh, forget about it. They uh, have I, that yeah. at, at... I think oysters are overrated. But once again, isn't that all about the seasoning that you cook it with? Because if you just eat a, yes. an oyster plain, it's like eating a piece of rubber. No, no, that's not true at all. No, no, not at all. It's not a piece of rubber. Not seasoning. at all. Clams. Nope, not at all. Now, clams and mussels are rubbery, but oysters People can be. If they're overdone, I feel like, Kev. If they're yeah, overdone, they're I don't rubbery. Think they're Take rubbery. Brian on line two. Kev. Yeah. Hi, Brian. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. It's Food Wars. For those just tuning in, it's the overrated food. What do you think is an overrated food, Brian? For here in Houston and maybe some around in cities in Texas, uh, ramen. I've never what? been to a ramen restaurant. Is that crazy? <gasps> let's go for lunch today. I've never had it before. I oh, yeah, let's go. Love let's go. Ramen. Let's go pay uh, t- fifteen dollars for fifteen cents. It's not the same thing that you get, in, of, not the same thing that you the get in the grocery thing. store that costs twenty five cents. How is it not? How is it not? Totally ramen different. is ramen. It's totally yeah, but it's different. all the fixings that they put. Okay, in explain there. to oh. us. Okay, yeah, then hold on, Brian. I'm assuming you go to ramen restaurants, and this is why you think they're overrated. Please take me through what it is to be in a ramen restaurant. I just think it's bowls of noodles and soup. For days, three more. Right? Just know the water, and they they probably <laughs> stay there for the next three days. Yeah. Yep. 
<laughs> so, Sam, as you want to defend it, tell yeah, me what, what it is then? the defense yeah. of the What's ramen the restaurant? Sam? It's so delicious. That's it's all you got? So is there no, anything you have to tell us why. It's so good. It, the, the broth that they have, even the noodles alone. Like, certain oh. places have different noodles, and the noodle texture. Are they thicker? And they, but they why taste are they better than so the kind that you can get good. for 35 cents in the grocery store? Because this is made well, with love. Uh, where the yeah. packet is not made with love. Like, love, love, love. Love, love, love. No, listen, I totally understand. Live, laugh, why it's love, better than the 35 cent ramen it's i just wanted so to know from good. sam like what's the difference is, there's is it all the same noodle it. no it's i believe most places have different noodles it's a different okay. type of noodle also the broth is so different this one that i like has pork in it it has an egg in it which is so good it has seaweed in it there's so much in it yeah. which Ew. is delicious take line four tom because he's got something delicious. i think uh, i know Irvin, our is social it, media wizard tony, tony on yeah. line four uh, Tony, Tony. Kids yeah. over here. Overrated Irvin foods. Here is the food war topic today. Tony, what you got for that list? Sushi. Sushi. Oh, yeah, I'm on, with girl. you there. Have you not? And hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Offended. He's offended. See? He's offended. How can you not like sushi? I like any types of sushi. Uh, yes. I don't like it. Yes. Wait, Tony, totally before you go on, let me say something. Tony, before you go on, let me say something. Uh, on text, Ryan Chase. People are asking you to please not comment on anything seafood because you don't eat it. I've so for you it. to already I've knock out it. sushi, like most it. of it is raw fish. Yeah, you you don't eat fish at all or raw fish. I've, I've tried I'm it talking and I didn't sushi like that it. is not California rolls. Can we yeah. say that, Tony Fairley? Outside of the California roll, yeah. tell me why you think sushi is overrated. Because it makes all the sushi lovers so mad when the non-sushi lovers won't eat sushi. My son is one of them. He begs me to, to eat it, and it just makes him so mad because I won't. So that's it's that's true. mine. Because you're missing out on something somebody, that's so good. We'll have it's like, Tony, somebody on text. That's Tony, cute. somebody on text said all in caps. Why is no one saying sushi? You get eight <laughs> little pieces of food for 56 bucks and you're still hungry after. 56 bucks? Oh, my God. What? what? Sushi <laughs> the body? It's got like, I mean, it's just basically like no calories, no no real nutritional value. What do you mean? Yes, there is. There's, is? There's, well, I mean, there's a nutritional there's value, a, but it doesn't really feel like There's salmon on it. There's yellow. There's, there's a lot of things that, yeah. What? No, I just eat the seaweed. All right, you can't talk really about this one. Yeah, you cannot. Vegetables, you cannot. You don't know sushi. Protein, I, everything and, in. And sushi. Sam, let, let me throw this your way too, because you like so sushi. I like sushi. We Eric likes sushi. It. Kevin Urban loves it. Can I say you have a sure. thumbs up for sushi? I think Kevin oh loves yeah, it. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But certain but I, kinds, not not the rubbery kind. <laughs> the I think all of us chewy. universally will agree to some point of that texture that yes, sushi can get expensive. It's like eighteen bucks for a roll, and just if you just walked into a sushi restaurant and had six pieces of sushi for eighteen bucks, that is not going to fill you up. Oh. It is an expensive food to eat unless you go to happy hours to some places. Agreed. Some of these rolls get really delicious and um, innovative. If and you share like, two wow, rolls, this is though, so good. If you share, share two rolls, get some have edamame, a drink, share two get rolls, get some edamame, have some kind of like gyoza or something with it. Yeah, there you go. Maybe you. Have have some steamed uh, dumplings. Good, but that does not fill you up. Um, it's an so experience, just like, just like crawfish. Technically, crawfish doesn't fill you up, but the potatoes yeah. and the, the corn, yes, and that's just how sushi is. There's a lot of rice in yeah. there. You can also, yeah, you can get a side of rice. Yeah, I'm Isn't definitely going to be hungry again about an hour after oh, that sushi. Yes. Although I'm stuffed when I leave, it just, it, I guess, it digests. Or do like good. an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet? Oh, that don't sound um, right. Be that don't sound oh, right. Yeah. Oh, listen, uh, put in buffet with sushi. Yeah, hold on, listen. Urban, we're going. Oh. Listen, we it's are running out it. of time, it's but it, only y'all. Eric can talk about what Stacy's going to say because I know we're running out of time, oh. but I got to see. We need Eric throw the chair, Eric, to come out. I don't even out. know what she's going to say. What is she Stacey is on the line to tell us what her most overrated oh, food is. Narrow. Go. Only Eric right, can Stacey. comment. Go, Stacy. What is it? Salmon. Salmon? Salmon. You don't like Salmon. Salmon, like, oh, I can't stand salmon. It's it tastes smells. fishy. What's Everybody's like, no, it's just not cooked the right way. Yep, you are Possibly. somebody who's a terrible cook in your family. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got to cook it the right way. They <laughs> grilled it. They oh, barbecued so it. They've done everything. They smoked it. Smells. It still tastes like crap. Were you- <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about catfish. Everyone's like, "Oh, you haven't had my catfish." No, I don't want that greasy ass dirt tasting. I think it's fish. in your head. It's all in your head. You don't want a bottom feeder. No, it's- but salmon is great. You can cook Farm it so many different ways. Catfish is good, Kevin. You got to get the yeah. good stuff. Oh God, salmon I don't think is good. Think depending so. on the Where are you buying the catfish from? Where are you buying the salmon from? It has a lot to do right. with it too. That. Does. Yes, you know, like Costco salmon is delicious. 
I'm just saying. I like salmon. Central that's Market is really good. Smoked salmon oh, yeah. when you, you have it with like a little crostini and some of the capers and some if of the cream cheese. you need a cedar and... plank recipe, I If you can't go to Galveston and get that the uh, off the boat fish, yeah. I say like Central Market. They got some really good yeah. uh, fish there. It's and so where fresh. where is that? You guys talked about that. Where is that market in Galveston where you can go buy you fresh You got to go on the pier side, Kev. Go on the pier side, like mm-hmm. Fisherman's mm-hmm. Wharf side. Okay. There's even, a, there's all these different fish. Um, uh, What's that other place what there? Katie's Ka- Markets? Eric? Yeah. Katie's Seafood is a restaurant now, but Katie's has been a supplier yeah. for years and years and years. And now they opened a restaurant where it's like straight from the boat to your plate. It's really good. Yeah. Okay, you walk, it, you walk it from the strand towards the water. And then you see park where like the cruise terminal parking yes. is, yeah. or like you see all those uh, Tillman restaurants over there. That's awesome. There, there's a little, there's a hotel over there. There's that big uh, one-eyed willy uh, cr- um, pirate ship. Yes. I got you. I got you. Yeah. No, <laughs> from the good- no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> over there's Katie's. <laughs> anyway, okay, y'all. Thanks for calling about uh, food wars. We're gonna move on to the next because uh, we want to know what is a weird or wacky first date you had, and in romance or no chance, we're gonna guess did you guys go out on a second date? after you tell us about the weirdness yes. of the first date. 713-390-KRBE is our phone number. Romance. We'll talk to you next no on chance. the Rule and Ryan Show. 120 and 520 next chances to become a finalist for that $10,000. Now we look at you at 713-390-KRBE. We're going to hear from you for romance or no chance. We do this every now and again because everyone's always going on a first date somewhere in this city and they don't always turn out so great. It's kind of <laughs> but, fun to play along. We've got to guess whether or not they... At least saw each other one more time. I think a lot of times you can tell by the tone of their voice. Well, so many listeners call us all the time and talk about the bad dates they're on. Mm-hmm. So chances are guess, guess the it. dates are probably crappy <laughs> and, and they're not with them. Cause so let's go to Gisela world. first at 713-390-5723. Gisela, you're up first. We're going to guess. Don't give us t- so many details that we can. It's obvious. Right. Just tell us about the weirder off first date you had. And we're going to guess if y'all saw each other at least one more time. Go ahead. Okay, so I this was back in my in my club days, and I had actually met a really good guy. I mean, he was he was an athlete, he was educated, he was in college. Mm-hmm. So we decided to, or he, you know, he wanted to take me out. He was craving tacos, so I was like, okay, you know, let's, you know, I know a good, I know a good spot. So I, at the time, was still living with my mother. Of course, this was back in the days. Um, I come from very humble beginnings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I pretty much live in the hood. <laughs> so <laughs> I, you know, I kind of told him, hey, you know, let's, there's a taco place on the street from my house. You know, we can, you know, come here. So we go, we get there, you know, we're having, you know, we're having a, a nice chat. We come back out and I, you know, he opens the door for me. I come in. But, of course, I, I'm a little blind, you know. I'm, I'm, my vision's not all there. So when I get in, I didn't really notice anything. But as soon as he gets into the car, everything was gone. So oh, your I car had been we broken were, into. No, they broke your car got ripped off, off basically when y'all getting the tacos. But this was not like a regular, like, break in. I guess they had a hard time sitting in his radio. So they took off his, like, entire Dash. Oh, <laughs> so no. the whole thing's gone. The whole dashboard out. Oh, my gosh. It was like everything was gone. And not just that, they stole his book bag that had all his college books. Oh, And I'm God. like, I'm pretty sure this thief was not in college, so he had no business <laughs> filling his college just, you know, now, <laughs> should have opened the book bag so first and opened the book. Can yeah. I ask you uh, one yeah. question? One question. Um, do you consider yourself an attractive girl? Why? Um, I... I would think so. I mean, I've been told so. I don't. No, that's not the right question, Ryan. You're supposed to say, do you think that he was all up into your looks? Not, are you an attractive (laughs) girl? (laughs) You're basically asking. That's such an odd question. You always say, yes, I am so hot. Yes, you are an attractive girl. Then he saw her again. But who's going to admit that they're ugly? If she's hot to him. If she's hot to him. Yeah. It's all about if she, if he's hot to her yeah. or if she's hot to him. They saw each other again. Such an awkward place to put a woman, oh, man. Ask me where you you're a hot girl. Did they break the glass <laughs> of, the, so of the window? I mean. Yeah, how'd they get in? Did I they mean, smash out the window? No. These are really this smart. Thing. Is the so Jimmy they thing? They yeah, yeah. They, they're very smart. There was no broken glass, so okay. they knew what they were doing. I mean, I listen, I know it's my neighborhood. I know where I you know where I live and I know where I come from. So they're very creative. <laughs> okay, wait, real quick, Giselle, I, Giselle, I have a question. Was he also from that neighborhood area too or was the whole thing totally foreign to him? 
No, he was not from that neighborhood. He's actually from Deer Park. So oh, yeah, I'm saying he's like, like, he's like, no. Nope. Yeah, he, yeah. I say. Okay, wait, wait, let's let me put it down. I'm, I'm putting her down so she doesn't okay. tell us. Okay, that's you a guessing? long commute. That's a long okay, commute. Go ahead, Kevin, go. I say he was like, uh, I ain't trying to hang out with that hood rat anymore. <gasps> she got my she got my <laughs> ish stolen, and I don't want to have anything to do with her or her hood. I don't care how hot she is. Uh-uh. I, I'm not going to go with her and get my stuff stolen oh again. My I'm mad. See, I'm going to go the I opposite. Guess, I can see him feeling that way. I'm going to go the opposite. He's Far like, away. well, I already lost my car stereo for her, and my car got trashed. Did you lose your tires next? Uh, I got I to gotta see if uh, something's going to happen on the I'm second I'm saying date. at least They saw each other two. one more time. Yes, I'm saying at least another date. Um, I don't know if they're still he's together. Because from that area and everything was a shell shock for him, I'm going to go with Kevin and Eric and say he did not... Ask her for a second date. But, Gisela, you tell us. What happened after that date? Did you ever hear from him again? Well, so I, the same as you guys, I thought I wasn't going to hear from him because I was like, oh, my God, I was thinking the worst. I was like, what is he thinks I set him up? Like, oh, all these, like yeah. yeah, all these oh. things were running through my mind. I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, he's probably scared that next time he's probably going to get shot at next time he comes. But, <laughs> no, we <laughs> we still did end up talking for, uh, for a little bit after that until it kind of fizzled out. Since, but you, you didn't know, see we each other. Did you go on a second date? Did you, did you see each other? We did, yeah. No, we did. We didn't see each other after that. <laughs> Where'd you go? Wow. To his neck of the woods? Did you go to Deer Park? <laughs> well, we definitely didn't come back to my neighborhood. I mean, it was... <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, it was completely like downtown, midtown area. So, okay. yeah, it was... <laughs> it was completely different. <laughs> well, y'all I can't are those guys ruined your first date by ripping off that car during yeah, the taco time. Yeah, y'all are compatible. He, he's pretty far away in Deer Park. That's so. a bad sign when that happens on a date. Can oh, I ask a quick question, Gisela. How did you guys meet each other? You said it's back said in, in your club, club days. Oh, in the club. In the club. In the club. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you met in, in the club. Yeah. Right. Also, what yeah. kind of car? What kind of car did he have? Do you remember? He had. It was. Uh, I want to say it was an awesome. Oh my god! I hope he's not listening. He's he's gonna be laughing. But it was like a it was like an older Nissan Altima. Like I said, we were young, so okay, okay. You know, he didn't, okay. he didn't like have money or anything, or anything like that. Right? Yeah. yeah, but it was no. like a decent car. Okay, got it. We're in the tree of tr- trust. Yeah. You can tell us if you really set him up. If you, you know, friends <laughs> no, like, oh, no, stop. Yes, he did it. Oh my god, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, listen, I didn't. I myself didn't even have a car at the time, so I would not have any use for a radio. <laughs> <laughs> no car, but it's offensive. Oh. <laughs> there you go. All right, Sam and Ryan got a point. Yes. All right. 713-390-KRBE for romance or no chance. If you have had a weird or wacky first date, um, you tell us about it. We're going to guess if y'all saw each other at least one more time. We have Kim with us. Hi. Good morning, Kim. Hey, good morning. How are y'all doing? Good morning, Kim. So uh, tell us about your date. Um, It was actually when I was back in high school. Mm -hmm. Um, We met Robert in physics class. because We all kind of had to take that at the time. And he was a senior. I was a junior. When got down toward the end of the year, about a week and a half before prom, he invited me to go to prom with him. Oh, nice. Oh, that's very and fancy. I was junior. a little freaking out because, you know, it's a week and a half before the prom date. And I only knew him from class. I didn't know him very well just from what we'd been seeing each other in class. Why did he wait so long so to we- ask you? He was, I guess, terrified. Oh, okay. I Aww. found out later that... This was actually his very first date ever. Oh, okay. Oh, so. Well, I'm glad the answer wasn't he asked four other girls. Yeah, that's yes. <laughs> you cancel them. Just you know. waiting, that's the waiting. last choice. <laughs> so his first so date ever. I get ever... home and I, I tell my mom and then she's like, oh my God, he asked you, he's a senior, he must really want to go to prom, you you have to go. So I was like, yeah, well, I called supportive. him and said, yeah, okay, we'll go. Nice. So, he comes, picks me up, perfect gentleman. He's got the corsage and everything. Mm-hmm. We go back to his house so his parents can get pictures because, again, first date uh-huh. ever. We go to dinner, get to Red Lobster. Yeah. We Cheddar drive business. out to the I heard of Galleria. Air- I'm sorry? <laughs> no. Oh, you go to the water wall? You go to the water wall? No, so you drive to the, the Galleria pictures? area after Red yeah, Lobster. Yeah. We drove to the Galleria for the prom because it was at one of the big hotels down there. Uh-huh. Get lost on the way. We drive an extra 45 minutes. Oh, and my we God. Finally oh, get no. to the- so this is back in the day yeah. before uh, GPS, before smartphones. Yeah, MapQuest. Yeah, MapQuest. Nobody oh, turned yeah, it on in the car. You yeah, print out your directions. <laughs> none of that. <laughs> and we've been having a little bit of, you know, awkwardness with the conversation because, uh-huh. you know, again, his first date. And so it was a really quiet ride <laughs> getting to the oh, hotel in the prom. Guy. We do get to the prom. 
and we sit down at our table and he does not dance. So we sat there for about two hours kind of staring at everybody. Aww. Oh, what are you <laughs> Oh, he wouldn't dance with you at all. No dancing. He, he's just shy. He, no, he did not dance once. He he did not. Know did you go dance, dance with your he, friends? Did you go like see your friends and hang out with them? Remember, she probably doesn't have a lot of friends because she's not a senior. That's true. Yeah, Good I point. knew a couple of people, and he was fine with me going and dancing with them. I went and danced a couple of times, okay. but I felt so like I should dance because real quick, you know ask, you're with a date. So so he's not going to dance. Did y'all at least have good conversation while you're not dancing? No, she said they just it stared like at they each just, other. Yeah. Sounds awful. Sounds awkward. I, say they're, watch TV, I think they're married. Yeah, they're awkward. Yeah. I, I think okay, you, Kim. Let's, absolutely. I was going to say, I think, just, I'm putting her down so she doesn't absolutely realize. Absolutely saw each other again. Just the way she said his name, Robert. That's what yeah, I was Robert, thinking, too. Remember when she said that? That was like yeah. the, my little, like, ding. Ding. Yeah. I think they're married. Bulb. Yeah. Light bulb. Thank I say you. Married. So I'm, going all the I'm way. not even going with dates. I'm saying married. I'm saying married with two kids. I'm committed to this. I say they were <laughs> briefly married, but no longer. And I was thinking about divorce. Well, that's them. not what we're, we're just asking, <laughs> did they see each other again? We're yeah. asking, did they see each yes. other again? I think we all agree they saw each other again. Really? You think so, too? I'm going to go opposite of y'all. Okay. Really? Uh, only because only because he's a senior, she's a junior. It felt like a last-minute thing. They don't really socialize outside of that one class. No, she was a junior, yeah, and he was a senior. She was a junior. That's only one year. It's yeah. not that big a yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand that, but they didn't socialize outside of that one class, and they had nothing in common to talk about the table on that night. Why would they have an... Why okay, would he feel on. like... Let's find that's out. That's what I'm saying. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go. Kim, did you see him again? Only at school. We never dated again. No! Oh, oh, never look at that. Yeah. I told you guys. Well, I got her point. Yeah, yeah Kim. <laughs> yeah, because he wasn't going to talk about anything at the ran dance. ran out of conversation on the way to Red Lobster. You ran out of conversation on the way to Red Lobster. On the way, yeah. not at the restaurant. Oh, oh, no. That is so funny. He didn't funny. listen to music. He didn't listen. He didn't read books. He didn't go to the movies. He didn't watch TV. What did he do? Yeah. And Man. Oh, he did physics. Because I remember that's where oh. we met. Was in physics. So he's yeah. really rich now. He's a millionaire oh, now. Yeah. 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 Did you ever oh, find man. out what happened to Robert uh, afterwards? Yeah. He actually, when he graduated, he joined the Marines. He, and, um, I talked to his parents later. He he is a really wonderful guy. We just had oh, good. not a damn thing in common. He was just a late, he was a late <laughs> bloomer, that's all. I love yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, good time. That's I know funny. he had a good time at the di- on the prom, so that that was cool. Oh, so, you know. that was sweet. And you're forever his first date, Kim. Yeah, you're forever. His are you first uh, date. are you married now with your own family? <laughs> no, I'm a veteran and a teacher, and nice. I'm too busy. Bravo. Yeah, it's just too busy. You don't no need. Time. Why don't we go yeah. back to school real quick? You. What's your first day back to school, Kim? Um, we are actually. I am talking to you from my room right now. Oh wow! Oh, nice. So it's, um, I'm so confused this time of. What school year, district like, are you in? Start working. Pasadena. Pasadena. The teachers we started yesterday. Oh, and sweet. actually, Eric, you know the teacher who's in the room right next to me. You know her. Really? Really? Dun, dun, dun. You bought a you something from her in Galveston that you use every time you go to Galveston. Oh, man. I'm trying That's to think. Dun, dun, dun. And you just say your name or run out of time. From back in his <laughs> single days? <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't be able to get it. What did I buy? I'm trying to think. What was it? Go ahead, tell it's me. It's a large, a, a large item that... that you know, a truck? has a battery and mm. two my wheels. Bike? Oh, my yep. Pedigo, my my bike. My, yeah, your Pedigo bike. Oh Dean yeah. Ortiz is my is my next door neighbor and one of my BFFs. Yeah, Galveston oh, okay. uh, on the Strand. There's a place that sells Pedigo uh, electric What's bikes. It? Oh, oh electric bike. bike. bicycle. It's yes. a bicycle. Oh, it's a bicycle. Okay. Yeah. Okay, That's funny. Yeah. That's a small world. Yep. <laughs> if anyone want, they'll see me this weekend on Saturday, I'll see you the bright red little Pedigo bike. Eric, look at like <laughs> Kiwi <Herman. There's> me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, All that right. Funny. Well, have a great day, Kim, and have a great school, a new school year. Coming up next, we got Celebrity Scoop. When one movie is a blockbuster and the sequel sucks, what makes the movie company say, yeah, let's have more of that? Let's go for number three. <laughs> we'll tell you next on The Rule and Ryan Show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rule and Ryan Celebrity Scoop. 104.1 KRBE. All right, it's a pretty quick story because there's not much to it. But when Wonder Woman hit theaters with Gal Gadot, it was a huge hit. Yep. Nobody liked Wonder Woman 1984. I can't speak personally because I didn't watch it. It I was wasn't horrible, in. Rula. It was just the but first I know one from was. You what you guys said. First one was just a really good movie. It was really. I think we were fun. mad too because they didn't put any like the 80s feel into it when it comes to like the soundtrack. There was no yeah, 80s how you music. Saw it 1984 without the 80s feel. Yeah. 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 And the and trailer it, they used this song from the 80s, but then that was it. In, in the movie, just there was no music. It was hokey how they brought back what's his name, Chris Pine. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's basically make a wish. Yeah. I wish for all the wishes in the world. Stupid. And that was basically the premise of the movie. 
So that Gal Gadot says um, Wonder Woman 3 had gotten shelved when James Gunn and uh, Peter Safran took over for DC Studios, mm-hmm. but it sounds like that was just temporary because she says, from what I heard, we're going to develop Wonder Woman 3 together. I love portraying Wonder Woman. It's so close and dear to my heart, and that's all we got. So there's no other details yet. We'll let you know. She's the only one that's story. being spared. Like, of all the DC Universe, they're rebooting everybody else, but they're keeping Wonder Woman. Good. Because she's chance. awesome. They've had to reshoot Aquaman, like, two a million times. Because it's just apparently a disaster. I think I'm finally getting burned out on those type of shows. Superhero Superhero movies, movies. yeah, me too. The biggest news story in entertainment today and yesterday is the Lizzo allegations from her dancers. Two that were fired, one that quit to show solidarity, plus a documentarian who said after two weeks of being with Lizzo on tour, she bailed out because Lizzo is disrespectful and rude and inappropriate, all the things. Lizzo spoke out on her social media saying that she has let things like this in the past. Anybody who says something about her roll off her back. But this is just too big for her to ignore. She said, these last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. These sensationalized stories are coming from former employees who've already publicly admitted that they were told their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. Now, here's the problem. The weird part about that is that's the very thing they're suing her for. They're suing her for her own behavior, for being inappropriate and unprofessional and feeling like they were put in positions that they couldn't get out of. And what's that one about being held against your will? It was, oh, false imprisonment. And the person asked, well, what is what, what are you talking about there? And that dancer who is claiming that says that she was put in a hotel room, locked in a hotel room and not allowed to get out until she had... Um, God, what was the word? My God, I've read she was locked in now. the room. She was locked in the room, and she was not allowed to be released from that room until she agreed to what? Kevin, I feel like we've gone through so many stories. Did you read that part? Go to of a red light district or something? No, no, no. It was about something about the dancing, um, just held against her will. Yeah. There's just a lot of things happening, and then the 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 captain of the dance crew is also being sued. Um, she is accused of simultaneously berating the dancers who engaged in premarital sex based on her religious views and also acting um, out against them. And this one dancer apparently had her V-card and this team captain would not stop referring to the V-card when they would talk about stuff. So inappropriate. You can't do that. Right. It's just a lot of a lot going on there. So we have to just kind of, it's like a wait and see situation. You know, this is pretty heavy allegations. And to somebody's point on text at 37530, these three girls have everything to lose by coming after Lizzo. Right? We didn't know their names before. You may not remember them after. But they're never going to get signed to another tour for anybody. Right, and so that's one of the things about being the first one because other dancers on that tour said they're not suing Lizzo, but they 100% agree with why the girls are suing Lizzo, and it mm. just goes that's downhill sad. from there. Uh, real quick before we get to the news, let me give away something really fun. Eric and I talked about Galveston a lot uh, over the last, you know, I know I know Sam and Kevin have their special secret beat. Yeah, yep. it's a secret. And, and Kevin, they don't want to share with but, his... but if you go to visit Galveston, you'll see it, right? A you picture are 100% of Kevin. Your <laughs> mouth. You shut your <laughs> mouth. Visit Galveston.com. Um, we want you to enjoy Galveston in a whole new way. And a, a Visit Galveston VIP card for two gets you admission to Moody Garden. Gardens or the mansions, the Bryan Museum. They have so many different attractions at visitgalveston.com. Caller 10 713 390 KRBE is our phone number. You're going to get that hooked up and you might see Eric this weekend. You'll see me on my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's flat. It's flat ground. Why do you need a motor? God. To tell you what's going down in H-Town. Because, uh, because I go all the way from beachside. I go all the way down you're not, to Jamaica. You're not bicycling then. You're just, you're just riding an electric scooter. It's just cruising. Scooter. It's cruising. It's I'm cruising. having fun. I'm just watching. I'm you're making sure I get my neck chopped off by the people fishing. Oh, yeah, sometimes that's they put super the, their fishing pole in the bucket. They put it a little bit farther out. Eric, and you oh cannot God, see Eric the fishing line. 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 I got clothesline Listen, last year. That's oh my how God. you're going to go out, Eric. It's going to be like that creepy scene in that movie, <laughs> a Poseidon or something, where they oh, yeah. got hacked in the middle by a, an imaginary fishing but line. You know what? If it happens, what a way to go. You're going to get Darth Maul. Just bury me with my bike. <laughs> just put me on the bike. Sunshine. Like when you guys come to my funeral, you can see me on my, my bike. Awesome. Can't wait. Not on the casket, just Stapled on the bike. together, though. All right. There is a heat advisory today. A heat index is going to be 100. And eight degrees. It's going to be really hot. By the way, Houston Restaurant Weeks is going on right now. It runs through Labor Day. It's your chance to dine at hot spots that you've been dying to try or maybe revisit an old favorite. 
Their discounted prices during Houston Restaurant Week's participating restaurants offer prefix multi-course menus for set prices, $25 for brunch or lunch, $39 or $55 for dinner. So if you haven't checked that out, Houston Restaurant Week's, it's going on now through Labor Day. And that's what's going down in H-Town. I want to give one quick shout. Um, actually, it's not a shout. It's a shame and a shade. I want to give a quick Eric's shame. Team, <laughs> a quick shade. Yep. Eric's team could not get it done yesterday. Yep. The White Sox got... Creamed by the Rangers, 11 to 1. They suck. And because we swept the Cleveland Guardians, we were right there. We were right there. We have the same amount of wins as the Texas Rangers, but we have one loss more than them, and we are still in second place. What the heck, Eric? And I think... What the heck? I think the Rangers play like the Oakland A's next. Oh, Talk about no. a, playing like a triple-A team. They yeah. only have like 30 wins. And we're no going one to, goes to their games. We're flying to New York. Actually, they're there now. They play today. And Verlander's going to pitch against the Yankees. Sunday, I think. Yeah. Thursday starts and then we go We've all the way We've got more to... of a battle than yeah, the so Rangers. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Four, day, four games <sighs> against uh, the Yankees. That's an easy win for the Rangers. Come on, A's. Surprise everyone. Take them out. All right, coming up next. If you miss what happened on Rule and Rain's Roses, you're going to get it next on the Rule and Rain Show.